What's up guys? Baker here. Uh, new tutorial. Track mats. Um, this is pretty cool stuff. And uh, not a lot of no... A lot of... A lot of... What am I even saying now? I don't even know. But check this out. This is what I'm going to be showing you today. God, oh my god. Oh. Boom! Alright, so we got some fireball and some text coming out and says boom and stuff. And um, instead of just like showing you right off the bat how to do it, I kind of want to like show you and teach you what it means first. Like, I'm a, I'm a real tutor for math and I'd rather teach it to you rather than just show you the answer. So, a track mat is basically like almost like a cookie cutout kind of thing for layers. And uh, it just makes masking a lot more, uh, a lot easier and stuff. So an alpha mat, it, it, it takes the alpha channel of one layer and then uh, cuts it out from another. So this layer I have a texture and this one I just have a text and it has an alpha channel because it is uh, transparent on the sides. So what it's going to do is the texture it's going to be cut from the alpha channel of the text if we set it to alpha mat. And you can see that the texture can be moved behind it, but it only stays within the, uh, the alpha channel of the text. And of course, you can invert it as well. And uh, you can move the text also. And then the luma mat is taking the luminance, which is uh, white or brightness. So if you don't have an alpha channel, like you don't have a cutout, you can just use a uh, black and white and set it to luma mat, and what that does is it takes, uh, you know, the transparency of the thingy, and it, it it's really helpful. Just just keeping that in mind. So on this clip, uh, we got this cool bounce, and I want an explosion to happen in the background, kind of behind the buildings. And uh, instead of just masking it, we'll use a track mat, and you'll see why that is helpful, and same with the, uh, the text. So I'll go ahead and uh, bring out my explosion. This is from Video Copilot's Action Essentials, and uh, pretty sweet stuff. So I'll just go ahead and turn that off for now, and we'll make a new solid. We'll call this uh, track mat explosion. All right. So I already have Twixter on this, as you can see. So it's all slow-mo. So I'll go to when the Twixter starts. Uh, this makes it pretty helpful if uh, your clip is not moving so much. So you don't have to animate the mask too much. But uh, we'll go to full res and zoom in about 200%. And then just actually 100 is, should be fine. And have your track mat selected with your pen tool. And just kind of, you know, draw along the edges of the buildings. And uh, so it can be as accurate as you want, but we're going to be feathering anyway, so you don't really need to. And I'll just kind of go around here. And there we go. So we get this uh, black solid, and what that's going to do is cut away from the explosion. So if we take the explosion, turn that back on, scoot it over to the slow-mo part where the Twixter starts. Um, if I set the track mat to alpha inverted for this case... We can see if I select it and move it up, it is hidden behind the buildings. So we can set it to add. We can uh, kind of scoot forward here and just kind of uh, line it up. So I'll scale this down a little bit and just uh, kind of line it up kind of like that. Boom. Not too, not too bad. And uh, it's, it's pretty sharp. So to fix that, we'll go to the track mat and push MM. For the mask and we can just feather it about 15 pixels or so and then uh, maybe expand it five or negative five like kind of kind of overlaps the uh, building so it's kind of like engulfing the building you know cool stuff and now we want some text to come from this crate so go when the uh, twixer starts again i'll make a new solid call this track mat text and for some reason i keep Capitalizing the A, but that's okay. Uh, turn it off. Select the pen tool and just kind of make a quick mask around the uh, box. Okay. And we'll hit M. Oh, forgot to tell you. Since this clip is moving a little bit, we'll set keyframes for the mask path for both of these. 
and then move kind of to the end, and then we just got to fix the points. So just go ahead and uh, kind of fix these up. And for the explosion one, uh, if you double click on it, you can move the entire thing and even uh, stretch it. Just kind of kind of fit that in there. Maybe a little more. All right, not too bad. Okay. So, anyways, so we got this track mat for the uh, the box, right? And uh, looks pretty good. So we'll get some text in here, and we'll just type boom. Bomb on what? I want boom. There we go. And uh, size it down just a little bit. And so we'll, what we'll do is we'll s put the uh, the text underneath the track mat and set the track mat on the boom to alpha inverted again. So that cuts it off. And we, of course we can feather the track mat about five pixels or so. So we'll move this uh, behind the dumpster thing. Set a keyframe for this for the position. So hit P, keyframe, move forward just a little bit, slide it over, and move forward and just kind of move it a little bit and then just uh, you know, slide it back. So if I uh, set down to half, do a quick RAM preview, let's go ahead and check it out what we got. So he spins around. So we... The good thing about this is you can adjust the explosion, you can move it around, you can scale it up, you can rotate it, any adjustments, and it won't affect the mask of the track mat, if that makes sense. I mean, if you... If you yeah, oh my God. Um, so, timing issues, but the, uh, the concept is, is pretty clear, I hope. And uh, one more thing you can do is check this out. So, if we want to like kind of zoom in, what we can do is we'll make a new uh, null object. All right, and you want to parent everything, the clip, the elements, the text, all the track mats. Use this parent, the little swirly thing, parent to the null. So, if after the explosion or during the explosion, we push S for scale and uh, maybe R too, rotation. Hit a keyframe, move forward about half a second. If we scale up, everything kind of scales with it at the same time. So, so it goes in and it's like boom. And then, you know, keyframe, keyframe, and then move forward and then reset this back to 100 and this back to zero. All right, so. No object parenting, and uh, you can zoom in. You don't have to fix any of the masks and everything. So, pretty cool stuff. Look at that. Boom. And uh, there you go. Track mats, you guys. So, um, if you learned something, go ahead and leave a like. Even a comment, what you liked about this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be doing some more transitions. Don't worry. But it seems to me like uh, the only time I can really make tutorials is Friday morning before school. But, um, uh, yeah, leave a like, and I don't know, that's about it. If you make something cool, go ahead and show it to me, and uh, I'll check it out. So, peace, you guys.